Welcome in your students. Welcome in your science lesson. Right? Now, tell me class that what's the topic that we have started in science that we have just started actually in science. It's a new topic. What's the name of that topic? Yes, our five senses. We have started this topic by the name of five hours, five senses and which sense we have covered uh, in these two days yes we have covered uh, we have done the introduction of all these five senses and then we have covered which sense yesterday we did sense of touch right and remember class when we were doing ten sense of touch i showed you i uh, some real things what were those two real things those were yes those were the rose flowers right when uh, rose flowers i showed you right so when you touch uh, when you touch a rose, rose flower how do you feel you feel the softness of the flower right what else does uh, do you people get from rose flower why do you why the rose flower is so popular why everyone likes rose flower yes because of the smell of that flower right because the smell is so good the smell is so nice now what am i holding in my hand see if i open it mm, smells so good so nice it's a perfume right the smell of a perfume also makes you feel good makes you feel nice that's why your mom your dad they wear this perfume they wear perfume all the time right don't they don't they wear perfume loose perfumes because they makes you feel good they makes the, uh, they makes the uh, smell of from coming from your body good a good type of a fresh smell comes from your body a pleasant smell comes that's why you use perfumes you use deodorants right yes all right so this was about the small introduction about uh, a sense of smell now, which uh, actually, which organ of your body is involved in sense of smell? Where, uh, which organ helps you to smell actually? Yes, your tiny, tiny nosey. Your nose helps you to smell. Now, your nose is there. We use your nose to breathe. Yes, what do you use your nose to? To smell also and to breathe also. Without your nose, it won't, you won't be able to breathe right so it helps you uh, your um, uh, this nose helps you to breathe to smell different things and it tells you about the environment your nose tells you about the environment if the environment is good if the smell is good then you will feel good right yes or no so the smell could be good like your smell of your yummy food your smell of your perfume smell of per of the rose right the smell could be good pleasant and the smell can be bad or unpleasant what are what example can you give me of a, a bad smell unpleasant smell yes the smell of your socks like your dirty socks it smells bad yucky and the garbage which is there outside that also smells very bad yucky isn't it so yes and what are the worst smell horrible smell you can say like this uh, the smell um, uh, like you can say uh, the smell like the uh, the smoke which comes out from the fire that smells very bad horrible smell isn't it so children yes great now so this means that these were the different kinds of smell it could be bad it could be worse it could be horrible it could be good it could be pleasant now what are these what are actually all these good bad horrible yes pleasant The smell of a rose is pleasant. The smell of your socks are unpleasant. So, what are all these words? These are you can say these are these words help you to describe the smell. So, these uh, words are actually the smell words. You can say these are the smell words. They help you to. 
they help you to describe the smell, right? Now I'll share some pictures with you, and we will uh, see uh, what the pictures tells you, right? Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Now, what is this man or boy doing? Smelling the flower. Correct. He's smelling the flower. Okay. Now, what's this girl doing actually? Eyes are closed and see the smell is coming. She could smell the pizza, right? She could smell the slice of a pizza. She could smell that, oh, such a good smell of pizza is coming, right? Or you can say she's thinking of a pizza, then how the smell of, uh, how yummy is the smell of pizza, right? Because her eyes are closed, so that means she's thinking about that, correct? Now, what is this man doing actually? Now, you can say he's wearing that uh, cap of uh, over there. That cap is of a cap of a chef. So, you can say he's a chef and he's smelling the food or smelling the soup, right? He's smelling the soup. Now, what this man is actually doing? He's smelling the wind. He's smelling the breeze. Like, you can say uh, uh, that's why it helps you to uh, no, I tell the environment because he he thinks that the smell is the smell which is coming from the environment is very good. That is why you can see his face. His his face is so he's feeling happy because the smell which is coming from the uh, in the environment which is there all around the environment is good, right? That is why I explained you that the uh, uh, the sense of smell tells you about the environment, whether the environment is good, whether the environment is bad. Like you can see in this picture, he's the this and he's the, you can easily tell how this man feels about it. Because a good smell is coming, so he feels good. A pleasant smell is coming, so he feels pleasant. He feels good. Right, class? Yes? Now, I have an activity for you all. Now, what I want you all to do, I want you all to just close your eye for a minute. This activity would be for a minute, right? I want you all to close your eyes for a minute and think about the uh, the different things that you have smelled throughout your life. Up till here, up till now, whatever things you have smelled that was good, pleasant, and uh, some things that you have smelled, which was which was a horrible smell, you will think about those things, good smell and a bad smell. You will think about that for a minute, and when I'll ask you, you will tell me the names of those things, right? Are you all ready? Okay, now your time starts now. Okay, raise your hands, stop thinking, stop thinking class. Okay, right, now Ali. Uh, what were you thinking? What can you tell me one name? Can you say one name of a good smell? That was the smell of a perfume, okay, and a bad smell, a bad smell of a of socks, socks of your little brother. Oh, you have smelled the socks of your small, your little brother. All right, good. Yes, Alia. First, tell me a good smell. Smell of a rose, okay, and a bad smell of worse smell. Dust bin, smell the, of a garbage that comes from the garbage, correct. Okay, you have smelled that also? Sometimes it comes from your kitchen or from outside, right? Okay, right. Okay, now comes the turn of Neha. I'll tell me one good smell. Yummy food, the Chinese food, okay? Chinese food is a good smell. And what about the bag? Socks, okay. Very good, class. Excellent. Very nice. Now, now comes the time for you to do the task, right? First of all, there are two tasks for today. The first task of yours is that you are going to write down this heading, sense of smell. And you will write down all these words, one, two, one, two, three, four, five words of these are the smell words. The second task of yours is that you are going to make a list of uh, two things, okay? The first thing would be of good smell, and the other will be of bad smell. All right, this is the two tasks. First, you will write the names of all smell words and make a list of two things. One will be of pleasant smell or good smell and the other will be of bad smell, okay? Now, since there are two tasks, so I'm going to give you 12 minutes for this time task and your time starts now. All right, class, time is up, time is up. Come on, now this list you have already written, right? The ones which I have wrote on the board, 
Now the other list which you have written yourself, can you just read out the, one of you can read out about the good smell. What are the things that are, uh, that you smell for good? Food, okay. Perfume, okay. Rose, okay. All right. Uh, that's it. Soap, okay. You can say, all right. Okay, bad smell. Socks, okay. Garbage, okay. Poo of your cat, okay. So that means that you have understood very, very clearly about the sense of sight. Which organ is involved for the sense of sight? Your tiny nose. Your nosey is involved for sense of smell. Now here I would like to tell you one thing. You know that how bees and ants are so sharp, right? Uh, they although uh, be, Have you ever seen bees and ants? They have their eyes, right? They have their eyes like we do, but they don't use their eyes in that way like we use them. They don't use their eyes for uh, to look at the things. They Instead of that, they use their sense of smell. You know that? They use their sense of smell to see things, they, to guess things like what the, these different, uh, uh, different things are. Because sometimes the, some ants are blind also. So the, uh, the blind ants, they cannot see anything, but yet they can smell with their nose. So they can, uh, instead of their sight, bees and ants, they often use and rely on their sense of smell. This is one information, an important thing that you have. You can tell to your parents that you have learned this thing in the class, right? You understand, children? So I hope you must have enjoyed the lesson. So see you next time in your next class. Bye-bye.